All right. Okay. We are going. We're on our way. Okay, so Roger. Oh my goodness. You guys asked consistently for this video and I am delivering it for you today. If you are brand new to my channel, hello, my name is Drew and over the past two and a half years, I have been renovating this 1920s apartment. And if you haven't seen any of my videos, we renovated everything in this apartment from living room, bedrooms, kitchens, bathrooms, absolutely everything, even a horror movie room. And well, this has been done without my landlord seeing or really knowing what I have been doing up here. But let me give you guys a little bit of a rundown on how this kind of happened. About two and a half years ago, my roommate and I were looking for an apartment. It was the height of the pandemic. It had just started and we were trying to find somewhere quickly. We didn't even want to go out and look at places. Uh, so we ended up finding this listing here. And when I walked into this apartment, it was plastered in popcorn ceilings and it had mirrors covering every single wall. And I was like, I can't live in this fun house. Like this is not the vibe that I'm going for. And so we ended up leaving and the realtor called us a couple minutes later and was like, you know, the landlord said that he'll change whatever you guys don't like about it. And I was like, I just want all the mirrors removed and the ceiling scraped. I'm happy to paint everything. Like if you can let him know that I'm gonna do some renovations in there. And basically he was like, yeah, the landlord says you can do whatever you want. He'll have the ceiling scraped and the mirrors removed if you guys wanna sign the lease. And so we ended up signing the lease and moving in. And over the past two and a half years of living here, we've actually only ever seen and talked to our landlord just a couple of times. And that's because he is older. Um, for about the first year, he was really isolating himself indoors just because of COVID and everything, which is totally understandable. And he still does stay a lot inside. And so we'll just see him occasionally. Every now and then we drop our rent check in his mailbox every month. And sometimes he calls us if our car's in the way or something, but he is really great. He's a great landlord. We've never had any issues at all. And the other day I actually ended up walking by his door and it was open and I just decided, you know, I'm gonna ask him if he wants to see my apartment. You guys have been asking that question for two and a half years. Every single makeover is, has your landlord seen this? Like, oh my gosh, like, are you able to do this? How are you able to do this? Is it a rental? And right then and there, I ended up asking him in the door, but I was like, you know what? I have a YouTube channel. My followers have been requesting you to see the apartment for so long. I'd love for you to see it. I swear I haven't done anything crazy in there. And he was like, I would absolutely love to see it. Um, and we ended up scheduling a date for him to come see. And there wasn't really an intro for Roger either. So so the landlord's name is Roger. He's great. He lives under us. But nonetheless, I'm not going to say anything else. I feel like the video speaks for itself. So meet Roger, everybody. Okay. All right. Okay. We are going. We're on our way. Okay. So Roger. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you remember this living room? Oh my goodness. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> I hope. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's so. This apartment, I will have to say, is beautiful. Like this unit itself, how much light it gets, is amazing. Like you have such a pretty property here. So I actually ended up painting the windows black, which yes, I think looks did. so good because I feel like it makes some kind of a statement in here. Uh, I did these two windows as well, but it's just the trim, and then we painted this white because before it was actually like a yellow color. Um, oh, it's beautiful. And then oh, it did the fireplace black too. Oh! Which, I, that makes a big, like, focal. It does. Yeah. It does. We love the fire. And the curtains and the rods. Oh, yeah, we did all the curtains and rods, too. Oh, and I want to actually show you this over here. The bookcase in the corner over there. Oh, I love it. I actually built that for Architectural Digest. You built that? Yeah. I don't know if you ever see me outside in the backyard. I, I saw them <laughs> filming you, yes. and I see you working a lot. Yeah. So um, every time I'm cutting... That's gorgeous. That's what you do. Yeah. Whenever I'm cutting wood, I'm always hoping that you're not thinking I'm like just destroying your... Oh, no, 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 no. This is gorgeous. I'm going to have to raise the rent. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is really beautiful. Thanks. And then we're gonna go into the little dining area, which I don't know if you remember in here. Oh, um, I, well, I kind of remember a whole lot. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite, the original chandelier. I love the chandelier in here. Yeah. I think it's super pretty. And then this actually was like a, a china cabinet cut out for a china cabinet but I ended up just adding some brackets on each side and adding shelves, so it was more of like a built-in shelf. Did you cut yeah. the wood for that too? Yeah, I did. I added these shelves here. Oh my goodness. I actually built that too, the piece under it. 
the little um, Now I'm have. gonna have to redo my place. I know. If you ever need <laughs> custom furniture, you know where to go. <laughs> oh my God. I love um, your table too. The table um, is from 1890. Oh my God. Yeah, it's, it, guess how much this weighs? I bet a lot. A 1,000 pounds. Is it really? It is, but don't worry. I made sure that it was fine and that there's stability. Oh no, no, I'm not worried about well, that. We're not it's absolutely it's gorgeous. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's actually made from cargo shipping containers. Wow. Yeah, it's like an antique table that I found. And it I'm, sure is. Such a cool piece, but I just love everything in here. And then I don't oh, know I if do you too. remember I this do. room. This was actually the first room I asked you if I was able to paint it. This room originally was that dark wood paneling. I remember it well. And wow, I think a lot of people actually ended up saying that uh, this was actually a screening room. Apparently like a TV would have gone on this side and like speakers would have gone over there and you actually would watch TV in here. I see. People also think it was an enclosed porch. So like this maybe it was a porch at one point and it had like a cut out wall and then they enclosed it. All I know is a whole lot different and better than it was. Yeah. We turned it into like a little bar, like a little at home it's beautiful. bar. And then like this side over here is kind of fun because it kind of has like a, oh, a distressed sure glass, which just kind of gives it like a speakeasy kind of feel. Like you're in an actual bar. And you installed all this. Well, the glass was actually here before. And it was. Um, I just antiqued the glass. So I you painted sure it. You sure made it a lot. It's remember, gorgeous. It's a gorgeous room. Thank you. Do you remember how many, how much mirrors there were everywhere? Like plastered on all the walls. Oh yes, yeah. I do. I and remember. we removed them because we we're like, we want it to feel like an actual, you know, like home. It felt like a dance studio. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's people dancing in here or something. <laughs> um, but that's wow. kind of what it felt like. So we removed the mirrors. So the kitchen's pretty similar. Like this is almost exactly the same as when we moved in. But I did go ahead and redo the little breakfast. Oh, note. you sure did. <laughs> oh, this is fabulous. Isn't it a fun one? This is a design that was a little bit more daring for me, but I thought it was really fun. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Thank you. I think it's real nice. I did like some molding on the walls and then I built the table too. You built the table? Mm-hmm. Wow. Built the table. Just out of wood dowels, I actually did this with a project with Lowe's. So then, laundry room's pretty the same. Yeah. But then, this is Marie's bathroom. Now I'm gonna have to redo my bathroom, too. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. I actually just recently redid this one. Just to make it kind of fit the rest of the apartment, I was kind of going crazy with the design. So I was like, I feel like the bathroom needs to fit and it's small enough to where I thought going with a fun color in here would be fun. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. It's really gorgeous. <laughs> oh yeah, and we have like a vintage art piece up here. Oh, wow. Yeah, everything we did was like rental friendly in terms of like if we wanted to, we could paint it back to the original state. If, if, you, if one day you were like, you know what? Oh, I want it back to the oh, original give me, state. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, it's it's gorgeous. You made it. Everything I've seen so far is just beautiful. Oh, thank you. And we're only halfway. We're only halfway. We still have all the bedrooms. Oh God. <laughs> so then, this is actually my followers' most favorite room in this house. <laughs> oh my goodness! I can see why. I mean, it's isn't it such a good one? This is a designer room. <laughs> hey, well, that's what you are, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I actually did like a lime wash paint on the wall so it gives it like a texture. Like it kind of yeah. looks like it has like a plastery texture to it, but it's really just the paint gives it the look. Got it. And then we did some more of the molding on the wall as well. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'm so happy you like it. Oh, <laughs> like it. Gosh, what's not to like? We didn't get to the hallway. The hallway is just, you know, a white hallway. <laughs> you want to trade you? <laughs> But in it's, here, it's beautiful. It was the bathroom space, which I did some wall molding as well. I think and, it's beautiful. And I kept the original vanities in there too, just so, because they were brand new, I could tell. I was like, oh, these are great. Oh, wow. And I redid the flooring too, actually, in here. It's a peel and stick flooring, so it's kind of like a vinyl flooring that's removable. So if you were to want to remove it in the future, well, you I could. never want to remove it. <laughs> I mean, it, I don't want to remove it. Anymore. <laughs> it was originally like all the same tile as the, uh, the like the wood plank tile that's on the bathtub. That was all on the floor as well. So I thought kind of breaking them up was nice 
And then, oh my gosh, Roger, you're gonna probably think that I'm crazy for this room. No, <laughs> no, you've done too much already. This is my storage room. Yeah, you've done too much with this <laughs> No, I'm sneezing. <laughs> Wow. This is my room of everything that you see in the apartment. <laughs> wow, I wish I were disorganized. Just a bunch of the stuff I find, because I do a lot of thrifting, so I like to find like lamps at the thrift store, vases and picture frames. So I keep all these de decorations for when I design other people's spaces. Boy, you didn't make those boxes. I did, <laughs> those are the only thing I didn't make. <laughs> <laughs> so this is more or less like a storage room. No, I um, don't think you're crazy. <laughs> Uh, just Thank have seven awful, rugs, seven rugs good. in the corner. And then the last room in the entire place is this bedroom, which I have something kind of fun to show you in here. Okay. Too. So first of all, this room gets the best light in the entire world. Wow, it's, it's just gorgeous. the prettiest room. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I got the window tattooed on my arm. Oh, did you really? I love the room, yeah. I love this space. This is my bedroom. You didn't do the tattoo yourself, did you? I, no, I didn't. Not one, <laughs> another thing you got me on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I love the window. Like that is such a pretty window and I don't know, everyone always comments about it, and so I got it tattooed. A lot of my tattoos are very naturey, so I thought it would oh, fit. Oh, well, the, the room is really gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. In here, I just did like a vintage headboard. I got it at the thrift store, and then a Parisian dresser. And there's a little office space over here, too. Oh, wow. It was the additional closet, but I turned it into my office, like where I take all my calls and edit all my videos. Oh, wow. And I love this space. I, I like there. it, too. I love how there's a window. And like, I don't know. I just love this bedroom, it's so pretty. That's the apartment. <laughs> it is, um, well, congratulations. And I really appreciate you showing it to me. Yeah, well, this is I yours. Mean, I mean, it's your home. Job. I'm just in here staying. But <laughs> well, thank goodness for me. Uh, I hope that you like I mean, it though. Oh, I love it. Yay. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> really, really talented. My God. No, Thank you so I much, though, for being on my channel. Oh <laughs> my goodness, this is this is fabulous. Thank you for asking me. Of course. Um, this is a real pleasure. <laughs> Yay. I'm really excited. <laughs> Yay, I'm so happy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you. <laughs> and we will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so good, Roger. Oh, this gonna be really so famous. is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm so happy you like it. Oh, I it's love it. Like, oh my gosh, what if he gets up here and, and hates it? Like, how could you possibly, like how can you possibly hate this? I mean, everything is gorgeous. Oh, so happy you like it. The, the um, storage room is a little cluttered. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But it, wow, it's, it's just a, beautiful. Everything about it is gorgeous. Oh. And I really mean that. Thank you. Well, at least you know we're not up here destroying anything. <laughs> oh, you're not destroying. You're, everything you do is an improvement. Well, Roger, I remember when I first emailed you and I was like, is it all right if I paint this in here? And you're like, you could rip down the wall, it's fine. And I was yeah. like, <laughs> no. I was gonna let you do whatever you wanted to do. <laughs> he literally was gonna let me rip down the wall. I was like, um, I'm just painting, don't worry. 